going to emphasize the fire prayer conference coming up. Hallelujah. Come on. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on. This is going to be powerful. Come on. You know our world needs prayer. There is so much going on in the world. And the foundation, the DNA of this ministry is prayer. So I want to encourage you. I want to provoke you to come and bring a friend. Come on. This is not just going to be hype. We're going to get empowered through the word of God. Because we know the word is a sword. And we need the word in order to uproot and to tear down the forces of darkness in this world. Come on, I need you. I want you here. It's going to start March the 31st. Come on, we're getting close to that date. Three days of powerful, fire, empowered, igniting impartation. Come on, this is not your regular prayer conference. Come on, you know it. You know me. You know uh, Bishop Collier. Come on, look what we got up here. Hallelujah. We thank God for Bishop Glenn Collier and First Lady Linda Collier, the founders of this ministry, the fire prayer that's already on the inside of them. Come on, glory to God. We have uh, Pastor Teresa Laryer. And then we got Dr. James Leak. And then you have myself, Pastor Rachel. Come on, you better get in here. Come on, today, will you do me a favor? Will you call somebody? And it's not, this is not just about women. Because a lot of times we have conferences and you see just packed with women. But come on, we need a Jehoshaphat anointing in this day and hour where men go in come on you know women can do it and there's no age barrier this is not just for the mature this is for the young people too come on the youth come on tell your friends come on promote this for us for me will you do that for me let me tell you god is amazing he is amazing come on and we need fire in our belly and our mouth come on text your friends share this with your friends with your family members your cousin your uncle your grandmother your granddaddy come on will you do that i am provoking you this morning to do that because i guarantee you that when you leave here after that third day you're going to be empowered in your spiritual womb as a man or as a woman to be able to stand before God and say, Lord, touch my household. You'll be able to walk through your house. You'll be able to identify the attacks of the enemy because I've told you before, according to the word of God, we're not wrestling with people. Come on, glory to God. We think that our enemy is the person next door, my, my husband, my wife, my child. It's not a person. It's principalities. And they're residing in high places. Oh, Come on, if you haven't been filled with the Holy Ghost and power, with the evidence of speaking in tongues, come on. Oh, You need a divine impartation. Glory to God. And I'm believing God as you support this. Come on, and I need your fasting too. I'm going to go into some fasting myself, some consecration time with God, because I want all of him in me when I pour out. I want it to be God. Hey, oh, oh, oh. hey I want it to be God. I don't want it to be flesh. We see too much flesh in the world. We see too much exaltation of mankind. Hey, sure. I want it to be, hey, I want it to be God. I want it to be God. I, I want to be, I want God to be exalted. So will you come? Come on, man of God. Tell some other men. Go ahead. Come on. You know how we share other things. Come on, share this. Will you do that for me? Hallelujah. Yes, right. Hey, March the 31st. April the 1st, 
April the 2nd. The 31st is on a Thursday. We're having a session that Thursday. We're going to have another session that Friday morning, Friday night. Oh, yeah, it's pulling on you, huh? That's okay. And then another session, we're going to wrap it up Saturday afternoon, morning, Saturday morning. Yeah, it's going to pull on you. It's going to pull on me. But the fruit and the what will come out of that is going to be a bountiful harvest. So I just want to share this with you. I hope I'm provoking you. We're going to go to another level in prayer. When we get ready to pray, we're going to see mountains move. We're going to see atmospheres change. We're going to see the climate change for the glory of God. For the glory of God. Amen. So I thank you for this time, and you all be blessed. Hallelujah.